An audit says UTC failed to quickly warn students about a deadly shooting near campus. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. One person died, two others were hurt in a shooting at Douglas Heights Apartments back in July. Many students call the downtown apartment, apartment complex home. However, the state controller's office says UTC put students at risk by not issuing a warning in a timely manner. Now Kelly Curtin is live with how students and the school are responding tonight. Kelly. Josh and Kim, this is the audit that we recently got our hands on, and you can see here in finding four, UTC did not issue a timely warning for a crime that posed a serious or continuing threat. Now they're talking about that deadly shooting that happened right here behind me at the Douglas Heights Apartments. Now we went to UTC officials for answers, and they directed us back to this audit, saying that their university statement to the state is right here. A report that has some students feeling unsettled. I would wish that they would be a little bit more responsive. Aaron Stewart is one of them. He's a senior at UTC and knows the problems at Douglas Heights Apartments after living there a couple years ago. Just a big dorm with no supervision, essentially, well, very limited supervision. In this recent audit by the Tennessee Comptroller, it refers to the Cleary Act, which says institutions like UTC must immediately notify the campus community of a significant emergency or dangerous situation. The audit found, quote, campus police did not issue a timely warning on its social media accounts. It then goes on to say this failure resulted in increasing the risk for students to take reasonable actions to ensure their safety. With Douglas Heights being as old as it is, they, they know some of the issues going on. I feel like that should be something that needs to get taken care of. This is a map of UTC campus we got off of its website. You can see we are right here and I I'm actually standing on UTC property, but just across the street sits Douglas Heights Apartments. We spoke to students who say it's not only close to campus, but students actually live in that building. It's not technically, you know, on campus, but the school should know about that. And yeah, that just they should know. I feel like shootings happen all over chat. I don't know that if it's not owned by UTC that they can do much. The audit recommends UTC should ensure timely warnings without a delay for situations that pose a threat to the school, plus to find clear lines of communication and regularly review its policies and procedures. Security should be like amped up a little bit. And under the management's uh, comments, it did say that they agree that a timely warning was not issued. And particularly here in this section, they do say that various factors are included with those decision makings, including the nature of the crime, the exact location, and the time of the incident, and that they are working to overgo or go over their policies and procedures. For now, reporting live here in Chattanooga, Kelly Curtin, News Channel 9. Kelly, thank you. Well, UTC also gave this response regarding the July shooting. At the time this incident occurred, UTC police did not see this as a continuing threat that needed a clear response. However, with the UTC recommendations, we think it's good to revisit properties in close proximity to the university. The